A new Chinese company has released this specialized math model which is Confucius 3 math and that is what we are going to install locally in this video and test it out on various math benchmarks. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Confucius 3 Math is a 14 billion parameter open source LLM developed by NetEase Udao specifically designed for K-12 mathematics education in China or across the world. Unlike general purpose LLMs, it has been fine tuned using reinforcement learning exclusively. With a new idea and data scheduling strategy and an improved advantage estimator to enhance mathematical reasoning and accuracy. If you look at the benchmarks which they have shared on their model card, this model achieves state-of-the-art performance on several math benchmarks such as Gaokao, CK12 Math, MathBench and various other where they have outperformed a lot of other large models in math specific tasks. The model is optimized for cost effective deployment on a single high end consumer GPU and if you are looking for some math curriculum model maybe this could be a good option so check it out but for now let's get it installed so i'm going to go with this ubuntu machine i have one gpu card nvidia h100 with 80 gpu of vram but i will show you the vram consumption so that you can also install it if you are looking to do so first up let's create a virtual environment with conda shouldn't take too long and now let's install all the prerequisites from the root of the repo And this command should also launch my Jupyter Notebook and then we will download the model and then play around with it. And now let me launch this Jupyter Notebook and that's already done. Let me download the model. So we are not only downloading the model but also its tokenizer. And you can see that it is downloading the 8 shards of the model so let's wait. Meanwhile, let me introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are Camel AI. Camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws with applications in data generation, task automation and world simulation and you can find the link to their website in video's description. Okay, so the model is now downloaded. Let's do the inference. Okay, so for the inference, I'm starting with the simple question i have already defined the system and user prompt this is a question which we are asking from the model this is a prompt template we are applying that template here we are tokenizing the input model is generating the output and then we are decoding it back and printing it you can also use this function in order to just uh, you know differentiate between summary and thinking and then you can simply go and run this from here and because it is thinking so it is going to take a bit of a time while it runs you can also check the vram consumption so it is consuming over 29 gig of vram in order to do all of this thinking and you can see that the i have given it the max context um, then max new tokens 32000 so let's see how it goes so after thinking for a bit you can see that it has given us a response so this is a chain of thought where it has understood the question and then it says that I remember that solving equation mean getting x by itself. Very nice. And then it is subtracting it. It is going through motions of checking the answer, simplifying it, checking different alternatives, calculating both sides. And then it has reached to the good answer after checking it by different means. And it says that, you see, check out this line. The same answer, so both methods lead to x is equal to 4 which is consistent and then it has done another check and it says i think that's solid and the answer is correct and it has checked again and then it has given us the final final answer and then it has also given us some of the steps there so really good quality you know math equation by the way only use it for math because it is only uh, suitable for math equation now let's um, ask it from different fields of math and maybe I'll make them a bit harder. 
Next up, I am asking it this algebra question. The correct answer is 243. Let's see if it is able to do that. It is still running. Takes a bit of a time, by the way, two to three minutes to come back. And it took around five minutes to come back with the answer. Again, it has understood the problem. It is going step by step, chain of thought, it is slicing and dicing the answer. And you can see that the thinking is pretty deep here. And it is checking the response now, going with the alternate ways. And it has even generated few of its own equation. And then it is, this is the actual different thing that it tries out different methods. And you see that it has really done very deep thinking instead of hallucinating. You see different equations, different alternates, different denotions, denotion, and uh, the answer doesn't look good to me so far. Anyway, let's see what is the final answer. So the final answer it says is 123. Okay, maybe let me check it with chat GPT because my answer is 243. But let me check it out with another model. And interestingly enough, my answer was wrong. So it is not 243, it is 123. Both Anthropics Cloud and ChatGPT from OpenAI, they have confirmed that the reasoning of model is correct. Okay, so which is quite uh, really good. I am very impressed by this. It has corrected even my answer. So anyway, let's try out a geometry question. So I am just checking the angle here i'll just show you again sorry so in the triangle abc let's see the angle okay let me check what exactly is the correct answer here the correct answer is 80 degrees so let's see what model does here let's check it out model has just come back okay so i'll just go up here so it is thinking again understanding the problems it is summing it up quite nicely it is following all the geometry principles. It says, alternatively, suppose I didn't recall that in uh, isocells triangle, the base angles. So it is very deep, understands the geometrical concepts quite clearly. It has already got the answer right. And then it is checking it with different methods. And there you go. So answer is uh, correct. 80 degrees. Well done. Okay, let's try one final one, maybe through probability theory. That is also a bit of a hard one. So what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to give it this question. I'll run it and then we will read through it. I'm just saying a die is rolled twice. What is the probability that the sum is at least 10? Let's see. The correct answer with me is 1 by 6 and I have also verified it with other models, but let's check it out. There you go. So it is thinking and then it is talking about that. Okay, so I need to find the prob probability of the sum of the two dice rolls. You see, I also made a typo, but it has corrected it. And then it is uh, saying that let me think about how to approach this. So it is going step by step, very nice chain of thought. I really like the way it approaches the problem, goes deep and then goes wide. It just explores different options. So pretty controlled, very, very nice thinking. It is even after correcting my typo, it is sticking with my typo, interesting. So in you know, different ways, very nice. I think it already got the answer right. Yep, there you go. So look, pretty good model when it comes to math. I think this is one of the uh, good ones in the math, which I have seen. I have done a lot of math models. So if you go to my channel, to search with math i think even nvidia came up with one math model so i have done a lot of math models over the last more than two years as you can see here this is the one i guess from nvidia and even uh this math stroll from mistral was quite good but i think this one is way way better you see ace math a lot of models in math if you're interested but i think this one is quite good and recent so give it a try if you're interested in that. Even license is very liberal, MIT. So check it out. Please like the video and share it. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do so as it helps a lot. Thank you for watching.